good evening nana here i am conducting <laughs> fusion procurement training with its related inventory and then an introduction to order management also and if you are interested you can write to me at apps.nana@gmail.com or contact me at 9848 for any training requirement now today i am not going to show you a synopsis or what happens a highlight of uh, the approvals of a pr and po which has been configured for one of our clients actually truly speaking what happens i have not done anything at all in this only my students have configured it they have understood this process in a very clear manner and then they have done it very nicely so i just wanted to show you since many of you are having a lot of doubts on the approvals this will be a, what happens yeah i open up for you <clears throat> on the approvals on fusion procurement right let us begin our session now let me share my screen now so i am now going to go there and then let us see the requirement of this now <clears throat> so here <clears throat> what is this uh, they have a requirement this is on the request fine so they have different departments in the company marketing is one department noc is one department core is one department and if you go further you can see some other departments also and then every department has got only certain person to raise a requisition so in marketing we have one maya bikik she will be raising a requisition so whenever she is raise a requisition what happens it has to go to the first level approver of lamia and then a second level approver of salem we'll come to these two a bit later now and similarly if it is a noc department it, the when mohammed creates the requisition in the noc department what happens it will be going to ibrahim for approval and then finally what happens these two guys will be receiving this in a parallel manner so this is a serial way of communication and then this is a parallel way of communication fine both serial and parallel are involved <clears throat> so here there is no first level approver at all there is only one the one approver and then afterwards what happens it comes parallelly to both rebu as well as manoj and similarly for different different departments there are different things and the core what happens there are two employees who can create a requisition so if abdullah or tahir creates a requisition it has to go to amari so we'll now have a look at it about how it has been configured as far as pr is concerned from purchase requisition is concerned we we'll go to the system and then have a look at it now right go there and then here we will now see this now so here this is the requisition approval page it has got three stages one is a pre approval stage one is a header stage and then one is a post approval stage fine so the pre approval header and post approval stage are there and here what happens it doesn't mean really that it is going to be a pre approval fine or header or post approval there are only three stages the namings have been given you can use it in any fashion whatever you want. so in this case what happens my students have configured two stages one is a header stage serial and then on the post approval stage they configured a parallel fine these two rules are able in fact what happens in reality you can even have all the uh, stages and all the participants of each and every stage can also be enabled if it is going to be so complex so it caters to many complex needs basically now we will now see on the header hierarchy serial fine click on edit rules i'm going inside and then i'm going to show you how it has been configured so go up so there are multiple rules are there there are multiple rules are there and here what happens all the rules are enabled all the rules are enabled And remember, not that every rule will get applied. For example, you know, go to the Maya bucket. So this rule says what requester username is equals to Maya bucket. It is only a name of the rule. Fine. It doesn't mean that what happens is going to. And then there is a condition for this rule. The condition is what requester username is equal to Maya dot bucket. If this condition is satisfied, that means what? If she creates a requisition, she is a user. Then what happens? You get the approval from PR approval marketing department. pr approval marketing group so if this condition is satisfied you get the approval from pr approval marketing that is what it means so let us go on and see this what exactly the pr approval marketing has so i now go there goes to this bpm worklist so this worklist is the business process management worklist and then here we are going to see in the pr side fine go down go down and then here we are going to see this one fine pr approval marketing i am not clicking on it and then it says what this approval group has got two approvers one is lamia and then one is sara this approval group has got one lamia and sara and then here we are using it what we are now using uh yeah <coughs> serial approval if you see in the top what happens it is header hierarchy and then serial <coughs> it's not written as serial but it is a serial one so here what happens if maya bikik creates a requisition and then her username is a condition fine if the username matches you send it to lamia and sara for approval one by one now so if you see on the excel sheet what happens it says you send it to lamia 
and then upwards sala one by one if this guy lamia is approving then it will go to sala we'll come to the next part of this after bus right the whole market now let us go to what's it so now let us go to uh, what happens your core department let us go to the core department so in the core department what happens there are two persons if any one of them makes a requisition what happens it has to go to amani for approval so let us see the core departments one more. fine core department what abdullah or tahir if any one of them makes it fine how the rule is configured for the core department no have problem go up now and then see click on the core now fine so uh, here requester name is what this one this one this is the one requester username equals to abdullah or tahir Or request the username equals to you have not written properly. And what else? And then if you see the condition, it is a or condition. If Abdullah or Tahir again, what happens? He is not again configured properly. Fine. There is a mistake. It has been corrected in the in the real one. Uh, equals to and then they have not put a this thing at all. They have not put Tahir actually. So Abdullah or Tahir. Fine. That it is in the test instance only. And then afterwards it has been corrected now. So in Abdullah or Tahir. If any one of them is the condition is satisfied, then what happens? You get the approval from PR approval core, and then you go there and then have a look at it now. Fine. Here, if you go there and then see, it. <clears throat> you go to the what's called BPL, and then we'll now see PR approval core department. Fine. Go down. So PR approval of the core department. If you click on it, it will now show you get it from Amani. Get the approval from Amani. So it says what? So if any one of them makes it, gets the approval from Amani. So likewise. For different departments, what happens? We have different people over there, and go there, and then for different departments, it's like this. Right? Only for the first department, we have got two levels of approvers. Whereas for the remaining department, there is only one approver actually. And then once when it is approved by them, what happens? It comes to these two people's parallelly. Both of them are purchase officers. What they wanted is once when the requisition of the marketing department created by Maya Bekeek is approved by Lamia and Salam. It has to come to both of them parallelly, and then one of them whom's over as the first responder has been fine. First responder, whether either Rebu takes it up or Manoj takes it up, what happens? They will know only simply approve. They will now have a look at the requisition details, and then what happens? They will approve it, and then afterwards, what happens? They will now take it up for processing for the purchase orders. So just to give you information, what happens? They wanted this information to be coming to them, and so they will be coming through email, and then what happens? They will be taking an action on this. <coughs> We come through email and then they will not take an action on this now. So both either Rebu or Manoj will not take an action. So for these two people, what happens? It has to go to parallel. That is first responder means. So it is a what's called a serial approval followed by a parallel approval. A serial approval followed by a parallel approval. Fine, it was. So we'll now go on and see how they have configured it. Fine, go there and then have a look at it now. So you go to this place here. What happens? I come out of it now. So the serial approvals are clear for you. Okay, fine. And then go up. And then here, give a cancel now. <clears throat> so give a cancel. <clears throat> and then here, we're canceling it. And then we will now see the parallel approvals. So if a company has got one serial, one parallel, and then again, what happens? You'll be having something else. We can very well do this now. This. One. So we can very well do this now. So we can use all the three stages and then do this. <clears throat> so all the three stages can be used for doing it now. So click on cancel. <clears throat> so it's still working. So let me go to a new tab region. Fine. Control T, Control V, and then I try. There is some network issue. Go there. So okay, just now it is still not coming. Fine, it's still working on it. Now fine. There is some issue of the network actually. Go to the new tab. Also, it's not working. It's become okay now. Fine. Let me share my screen. <clears throat> now we go there and then see this one. So we have already seen what yeah header approval serial. Now we'll now see the parallel. It says what the first responder means, and then see how it has been edited. Now, I click on edit rules. So this is the second stage. Fine. First we have used the header stage, and then we have used the post approval stage. So you can use it in any order. But what happens? Stage by stage, it will be executed. 
it will not execute. If the first stage is configured, it will execute first, then the second stage, then the third stage. So in this case, what happens is they have configured the second and third stages. So click on the header post approval stage, click on edit tools, click on edit tools. And then here, if you say the rule always applies is not coming up. That means what? There is no condition at all. So it will be applied for everything now. That means what? Irrespective of Maya is creating or Muhammad is creating or Abdullah or Tahir is creating, whomsoever is creating, the parallel approval is always applied and there is no condition at all. Whereas in the serial stage, we are saying if the requester user is Maya Baking, if the requester user is Muhammad Gulab, so likewise we have a condition. Whereas in the parallel approval, we don't have any condition. And then it is applicable for all the departments. And then we go there and see this now. And then go down and then have a look at it. It is not going to use the logistics reviewers. Approval is required by logistic reviewers. And then here, if you see, it's a parallel. And then what happens? First responder is fine. It's a parallel. And then first responder, wins. whomsoever is responding first, is going to win it. So if you go and then have a look at it, fine. and then you see the logistics reviewers. And go there and then click on the logistics reviewers. If you click on the top, what happens? Both Rebu and Manoj are there. So it will go to both of them parallelly. If you go and then have a look at it, it will go to them parallelly. So what about one of them will now open it and then he will not approve it. They only just approve it. They will not reject it at all. So once when they approve it, what happens? The requisition gets approved. Upon approval, they will not take an action. They will not decide to take an action. So whenever it comes, okay, fine. Today I have approved four requisitions and then I have to convert those four into purchase orders. So that is what it means. And then they will even take a report on a daily basis or something like that for how much of has come to them from different departments. So this is called a serial parallel combination. So we have a parallel combination, also serial parallel combination. The first three are in serial, the second, the, these two are parallel, and that two as a first responder means. We can even configure as a consensus. If you configure it as a consensus, what happens is that if you go there and then see this now, <clears throat> if you configure it as a consensus, in this space, if you go there and see this, keep a cancel and then come out of it now. If you configure it as a consensus of this one, that means what? Both of them have to approve. Then only what happens, the requisition gets approved. So as far as the PR is concerned, they have used two stages. One is a serial and then one is a parallel. So both of them are applicable. Now let us come to the purchase orders. So in the purchase orders, we'll now have a look at it now. In the purchase order, always Manoj is going to create the purchase order. Manoj only will be creating order. And then it will go to him as a first level approval, as a reboot. And then if the purchase order is, what happens, up to 25,000 Kuwaiti dinars, then what happens, Salam and Sanjay has to approve. If these two guys also approve, what happens? The purchase order gets approved. Fine. Here, what happens? All of them are in serial. All of them are in serial. So let us go on and see the marketing department. So what we have done is we have created a DFF in the purchasing. And then there we have put the marketing as attribute one. The first attribute is attribute one. The attribute one is going to marketing. So Matthew is always going to create it. Previous case, what happens? We have put the condition as Maya Bikik as a user. Here, the condition is what? The marketing department. Here the condition is marketing department. We'll go on and have a look at it. Let us go to the purchase orders. And then here, what happens? You have only one uh, available now. Only one serial has been done. Everything has been done in serial order. Thank the corners. This is for purchasing document approvals. Click on edit tools. You go inside now. And then here you can see there are plenty of rules are there. All of them are enabled. There also we have plenty of rules and everything is enabled. And then what happens there? Only one rule is applicable depending on our, only one rule will be applicable. Here it is not so. Here not only one rule. Fine. There is one rule called rule always applies. The rule always applies. What does it mean? What happens? This rule is applicable and then it doesn't have any condition at all. No conditions. And then the approval is automatic. That means what? This rule is always applicable and it has got zero approvals. Remember, it is not having null approvals or anything like that. It is zero approvals, remember. Not one or two, but it is zero. So what do you mean by zero? I'm going to explain it. Fine. Later I will explain it to you. So this is, this, is, this is always applicable for any department. Now, let us go on and see for the first department, marketing department. If it is going to be a marketing department, we don't consider this guy's in the condition at all because he's the only guy who's going to make a purchase order. So click on the marketing department and have a look at this. So we go there and then see this now. <clears throat> so we'll now go there and then see this now. Fine. We will now go to the marketing department and then have a look at it now. Go down and then see. So here, what happens? Uh, 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 document total point. Uh, one second. <clears throat> uh, we have what happens equals to admin team. Fine. This is an admin team. This is a core team. This is a human resources team. And then let us see the marketing team now. Yeah. So.
So what happens? Less than or equal to twenty five thousand. So the rule has been written in such a fashion that attribute one equals to marketing and document total is less than twenty five thousand. So you can see the condition. Attribute one is a DF of and then before creating the purchase order, what happens? The purchase officer will now populate the marketing department and then if it is exactly matching, so the case is case sensitive. So if this condition is there, fine. This this condition is true. And then if the document total is less than twenty five thousand, this condition is also true. So the condition is ending. So since both the conditions are matched, what will happen? It will not get approval from PO, PO, APP, MKT up to twenty five thousand. This is approval. So we'll go on and have a look at this PO, APP, MKT up to twenty five thousand. Go to the BPM work list, and then here what happens? We will now see the marketing department. PO, APP, MKT up to twenty five thousand. Fine, up to twenty five thousand. So you will be having what is a greater than up to twenty five thousand is here. So, if this is the case, PO approved marketing up to twenty five thousand, it will be getting approved by Rebu, and then afterwards Salam, and then Sanjit. So, these are the three guys who will be responsible for what happens creating this now. <clears throat> Fine. So, these are the three guys who will be making it now. So, Rebu, Salam, and Sanjit will be there for up to twenty five thousand. Fine. PO marketing up to twenty five thousand. You go on and have a look at it now. Fine. Rebu, Salam, and then Sanjit. If it is going to be more than twenty five thousand and up to one lakh, then what happens? Rebu will be the first approver. Then Salem, Sanjay, and Fajan will be the approvers. So there will be three approvers actually. So let us go on and have a look at it now. Fine, up to twenty five, up to up to. So marketing, PO marketing greater than this thing. And then what happens? Twenty five to one hundred thousand. This is what happens. So if you see PO approval marketing from twenty five thousand one lakh, Rebu, Salem, Sanjay, and Fajan, everything what happens will be going in a serial manner. And then afterwards, what they did is. If it is going to be more than or more than one lakh and then less than two lakhs, or more than hundred thousand and then less than this now, so here what happens? They wanted to have a board person's signature actually. So the paper will be issued to the board member and then he will be signing it. But they found it is very difficult because board members are not always available in the plant. And so what happens? They wanted to have the same group. And this group has got what? Rebu, Salem, Sanjay, and Fajan has to approve it. So for more than one lakh. Or hundred thousand to two hundred thousand. What happens? They will now use the same group. That is what they decided later. So now, what? How they have configured? You can see now. So for greater than hundred thousand, what happens? They have put the PO approval marketing from twenty five thousand to one on a hundred thousand. So this is the one we have chosen. So if they have chosen this approval group, we can even choose an approval group or individual approvers. So get it approved from this approval group itself. Why they have done like this is what they have not put the names basically because. What they feel is this group has got these four persons now, fine. And then later on, what happens for more than two hundred thousand? If there is any change on this now, if there is any change of the person, then what happens? They will only change here and nowhere else below it. Nowhere else below it. When they change it, since the other ones are going to use the approval group, the changed persons will always be involved in approvals, and no need to go on them configure each and everything in the below. The signature of paper has been bypassed, and so what happens? They have not done for about two hundred thousand. They are using the group and not the person specifically. <clears throat> Got it now? Fine. This is what it is. So they are not using the group as such. So go there and see this. So this is going to have the group. Fine. And then uh, uh, so likewise, what happens? They have configured everything now. <clears throat> and then the final one. They come to this final one. Go there. So here, what happens? You have got different departments. So the condition is marketing department. The condition is NOC. So for different different accounts, what happens? It has to go in a serial manner. And then what happens? They buy some stationeries. Stationeries are not for any department. Basically. They are not for any department. It doesn't mean to human deposits. Fine. It is not not for any department. So what happens? If if you buy a stationery, they will not populate anything on the department at all. Department will be null actually. So if the department is going to be null, what happens? None of the department is applicable. In that case, the rule always applies. Comes into picture. If you go there and see this now. The rule always comes into picture. The rule always applies. Comes into picture now. And walk and then see this now. So here, this is always applicable, which will be having a zero approval. If any of the remaining rules are not applicable, fine. Information technology, fine. Less than equal to the other one. Information technology, twenty five to one lakh. And then this is for implementation team. This is for Hacha. If none of the rules are applicable. That means what? It is not for any of the departments. So this rule is always applicable. That means what? It will now generate a zero approval. That means what? There are no approvals, but the rule is applied. But if you have not configured it at all, if if you have not put this rule, if you have not enabled the rule, what will happen? If none of the things get appear uh, is not applicable, then what happens? The requisition will not go to anybody at all. 
the requisition will never or the purchase order will never go to anybody since we have a rule always applies enabled what happens if other rules fail it will at least go for a self approval zero approval means what self approval whomsoever is creating it it will get approved by himself itself it is a self approval or a auto approval basically but if you don't enable it it will go to nobody so we need it so here what happens this entire approval mechanism is a list builder it is going to generate the list of approvers over go there this will not generate two or three approvers this may generate four approvers and then if none of them is applicable this will now generate one approver or other zero approver the rule always applies generate zero approver so it is a list builder and then it will now say how many people have to approve it and so what happens if none of the conditions satisfies if none of the conditions are satisfied none of the department conditions are satisfied we will have a rule always applies that will now generate a zero approver in this case also what happens it will also put the same person as an approver fine if it is a marketing department it will now say for up to 25000 rebu selam sanjay as well as manoj will be coming the last the rule always apply has got a lesser priority and so what happens it will be put in the last one. and manoj no need to approve at all because he only has created it so after rebu approves after selam approves after sanjay approves it will now put the manoj matthew as a application developer in the last and i cannot create a what happens a po and then show it to you because it's a client's mission and so what happens i cannot create it and show it to you so that will be coming as application developer after rebu selam sanjay and then application developer so once when sanjay approves application developer is automatic and then it will be and then it will be added to the last on everything and if the marketing is absent none of the rule applies and so what happens it will be having only application developer and then the moment the manoj submits for approval what happens it will now get approved automatically <laughs> so this is a synopsis of uh, this thing and then it has given has got more complex ones you know another project what happens we even uh, made even more complex actually they are all done by my students so first of all create one such excel sheet and then what happens uh, tabulate all the requirement of the end client so once when that is done what happens uh, configuration is juju we right? you can very easily do it now right? so this completes your synopsis on the approvals now, if you have any doubts you can talk to me or you can write to me at apps.nana@gmail.com my mobile number is 98 Four one eight six seven nine two four, and I am conducting training on procurement implementation as well as the related inventory, and then I will now give you an intro to order management also because we are not in the beginning stage. We are not yet understood the order management fully, but we have configured it to some extent. So an intro will also be given to you later, fine at the end of this. Fine. So contact me, and then I am available for conducting this training, and then what happens? Best wishes to all of you for a prosperous career in <coughs> Fusion Apps. Bye bye. Thank you.